How the hell are that, neighborinos? Okay, so, first things first, I've got some good news and some bad news. Good news is that we can more than likely see the PlayStation 5 next year. Bad news is that although I thought it would launch in March, that doesn't really seem to be the case. So, there was a Q&A that Sony did with a few different reporters. One of those reporters is named Takashi Mochizuki. And he ended up tweeting out something that may be a little important. First things first, he quoted Sony saying that there won't be any next-gen PlayStation launch over the next 12 months. And wouldn't you believe it, that 12 months ends at the beginning of May next year. So it'll be at the earliest May of 2019. However, if you consider their if you consider the PlayStation line's history of launching in North America, then it's more than likely going to it's it's going to launch holiday 2020. Because what when you take a look at the original PlayStation, not the PS1, the the original PlayStation, the one that they launched in 1994. That one launched on the 3rd of December. PS2 that one launched in North America on October 26th of 2000. PS3, November 11th, 2006. And PS4, November 15th of 2013. So, somewhere between that span of time actually makes sense when you think about it. Six to seven years seems to be the amount of time they take to create the next generation of system. Uh, that being said, we could likely, as I said, we could likely expect it sometime between October and early no and early December of next year. So, I guess that just means you have a grand total of 19 months to save up for to save up the five or six hundred dollars that may be necessary to get it. So that being said, uh, if I were to do that math real quick, assuming it's six hundred dollars, nineteen months, that'd be like what thirty-four dollars, maybe thirty-five, somewhere in there. It, it's probably thirty. No, it, yeah, it's thirty-four. So thirty-four dollars a month. Save that up between now and November of next year, and you'll have your six hundred dollars. So you know. You do you. Save that thing and get all the console stuff. The next piece of news is something that I am considerably excited about. There were a few neat games. Well, not just neat, but like cool. There were a couple of cool games that released this week. But a few, a couple of them rank a little bit higher on my list than the others. The first two, as I'm sure you could probably guess, are Orbis VR Reborn. This one is a an online VR MMO RPG complete with all the, the PvP and the mining and the skills and the the dungeons and the you know all all the stuff for the it, it's really hard for me to express exactly what it is I like about this, but you can you can just take a look in the link you can find down below as well as in the trailer that's also going to be on that page. You can check out everything you need to know about that game in the in the description down below. So yeah, this one is going to be for, available for forty dollars. It released on it released this last on the 23rd released for $40 and it's available on the Vive and the Rift and Windows Mixed Reality or no just just the Vive and the Rift $40 Orbis VR Reborn and you can find it on the Steam store no less it's probably one of the biggest ways they'll handle the online experience is go by going through the Steam 
they, they'll be likely going through the Steam architecture in order to manage the, the online space. That's the easiest way to do it, I think. Uh, the next one that I actually am considering is called Fantasy Smith. You would end up using the, the tracked motion controllers to, do, to make everything. And there's, there's this whole fantasy world all around you. But of course you can't do anything in the fantasy world. There's just going to be all these customers and, and the tasks you got to do. But you still got to... You still got to use the motion controllers to make all the weapons and armor and stuff that you're going to make. The other ones that came out this week are a little less impressive than Fantasy Smith than ca that came out also on Tuesday for $13 for the Vive. Those ones that are less impressive include Home Plate Baseball, which you can find for $5 available on the Rift, Vive, and WMD came out on Wednesday. However, the trailer does not really suggest that it is really engaging as far as a sports title goes. I was hoping that, that we would get something more like MLB or something. But no, you, you don't really see any of that immersive element with it. You know what I mean? You don't really feel like you're playing a game of baseball when you when you play home plate. But you know, if, if it's it's only five bucks, if you want to try it out, be my guest. The other ones include Icarus Prima Regala and Montecube Dodge. Both of them, both of them came out on Monday, and they are. There, one is available for the Vive, the other for the Rift, and they are five dollars or less. And judging by the trailers, that's about how much they're worth. Maybe even less, but you know, it's. I'm. It's really hard for me to get excited about these. Because they, they don't, they, even if they are frantic or mobile or anything along those lines, it doesn't really seem like there's anything to keep you hooked. And I don't know about you, but I enjoy being hooked on my VR games. And the last bit of news is something that I'm sure you're all a little bit less likely to listen to. It's all about a Forbes article that tries to complain about VR and how it's a waste of time and money and energy and how there's no future in it. But the problem with this article is that it tries to convey that the future isn't there while going over the present hardware we have available while also disregarding the known projects at hand for virtual reality that being in in this article they completely disregard the quest the rift 2 which their which oculus is likely at least Considering the prospect of, at this point, in, in addition to the Vive Focus Plus or the PlayStation VR 2 or any other known projects that are going on right now. So as far as that goes, this the way I see it, this article is... It's a mockery. That's all I can really say. But maybe I'm a little biased because I'm actually engaged with with VR as a market and I want to see it grow and continue. So 
I think this is a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm a horrible human being for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.